Coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, so uh, we uh, first the, the, let me back up and just say we, we were very excited to be here uh, and uh, to play in the first uh, Big West championships. And uh, we um, we just really enjoyed the experience. Um, we obviously were looking for a little bit more in uh, uh, in, in tonight's match. And uh, we when I evaluate the game I just felt like uh, the first set we had opportunities and uh, sets two and three Long Beach really played well and you got to give them credit it's a it, it's a really good team and they served us uh, very well and it affected every part of our game so um, you know I felt like in the first set we had our opportunities at 22 all 23 all and uh, we were just a, a swing or two away from winning that first set and I think if we win that it changes the uh, the outcome for sure um, and uh, yeah, that's my opening statement. Questions for all three? Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you guys played really well that first set, but the next two you guys couldn't really gain any momentum. What do you think really happened in between that first set and the second set, and you guys that caused you guys to never really uh, gather your feet or anything like that? Yeah, I, I really think that uh, Long Beach they served uh, they served well in, in set one. And then in set two and three, they just really dialed it up. They had some serves that were just outstanding. We haven't seen many uh, players uh, serve, and many teams serve the way they did tonight. It affected uh, us in a way that when the pass is off the net, the setter has to run and scramble, and then a lot of times that set is off the net, and then it allows the team to get in double uh, and triple blocks on, and that's basically what happened. So after set one, we were hitting 300. And then uh, for the match, we ended up hitting 139. And I, I it's easy to, to say the, that it could have been, you know, setting or blocking or serving or any of these different aspects of the game, but really it came down to serve and pass. They served better in, than us in that second and third set. Yeah, you know, Jeff, when you talk about uh, their serve and pass, Pace of the serves at the location, you know, what, what, what specifically are the things? You're it's doing both. I mean, there was those serves, you know, you, you have a 30 by 30 court, and when those serves are hitting, you know, within six inches of the line at, you know, in between 60 and 70 miles an hour, it's, it, it's, a, it's pretty effective, and that's what they did tonight. Yeah, so Sam, uh, the, as well as we were hitting, I didn't think he was, uh, you know, particularly setting uh, as well as we could. Uh, I felt like um, he got a little bit tight. Uh, and and Skyler is very talented. He brings another aspect to our team. He's very he plays very loose, um, kind of like a little bit like a gunslinger a little bit. He has a little bit of different attitude. Um, in a different vibe, and sometimes uh, that can really uh, be effective and help your team out when, especially when your team is tight. And I felt like we were a little bit tight. We were playing pretty well, but we were pretty tight um, it, during during that first set. So, um, yeah, made the change in, in hopes that they would bring change the the you know the uh, the spirit the the uh, demeanor of the team. But the other team, but Long Beach just started really serving well and just started affecting our passing. Uh, Arvis, you just talked about as a player, uh, the experience that's been the last couple of days, the first ever Big West tournament, and, and being in this building and playing some high quality volleyball. I'd say overall, it's been a really great experience, you know, getting here and get a chance to compete, winning the first round, and uh, getting a chance to compete against the number one team in the nation tonight, you know. Just really grateful for this opportunity, you know, I was happy I could be here to help my team. Arvis and Josiah, can you guys talk about your Northridge careers uh, leading to this point and what you hope to see now as alums from the program in the future? Good. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> scary. Oh, I guess for your first question, uh, looking back on my career, I'd say it's been a good experience, you know, coming in as a redshirt freshman and fracturing my shin twice and even getting a chance, you know, staying in a program this long and having a career I did, it's just a blessing, you know, and just an honor to even make it this far. And uh, what I expect from the future of the season's career, I expect, uh, you know, season to keep this momentum up and just getting better and better over the years, just becoming a top three, three team in the next few years. Stutter. <coughs> and for me, <coughs> I mean, 
it's been a wild experience, you know, only playing volleyball for two years before coming into this program and being able to start as a freshman was a pretty crazy experience. And then just learning more and more aspects about volleyball and, you know, growing as a player and, you know, becoming friends with all these players on the team and growing with them and seeing these new guys coming in and growing together with them. I just believe it was just a really good experience and then being able to come in, play this Big West tournament and really like try and show what CSUN had. And I feel like, you know, we did a pretty good job overall showing that, you know, CSUN can compete. And I really hope that in the future CSUN can keep showing that, you know, they're top, they're top tier and that they can play with all these big other big teams. That's pretty much it. Coach, what is the to a mentor your program, especially now with year one in the Big West and now going forward? Well, they're both seniors, and I'm very sad that they're going to be leaving for sure. Uh, uh, Arvis uh, didn't really didn't practice his entire freshman year. He had a stress fracture in his leg, and and uh, one of the things that Arvis needs to continue to improve on is is volleyball experience. And so he had the athletic ability to do it. He's shown that he can do it and improve. Um, I, I think he's going to have a great career uh, moving forward. And uh, to see the growth that he has had personally, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, from where he came in, he played very little volleyball. He's a basketball player, came in here and really uh, dominated in his, his senior year, leading the country in uh, kills per set and, and also getting, uh, you know, four, of the, four out of the six weeks, uh, he got uh, player of the week for our league. So... Um, he really did a great job, and uh, and Joe just came in uh, again a little bit uh, inexperienced on the volleyball side, and was able to come in and, and play right away. And he's grown both mentally and physically in this game. Um, and and you know I think both these guys can probably be coaches after this, right? After this experience, <laughs> uh, he they they've really uh, been. Uh, the growth has been great, but also off the court as well. Both are great students and, and great people and, and have, have done a great job of uh, representing CSUN in a very positive manner. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you.